in your personal security. And we must keep it. It's not a prayer. He is a Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We're going to be playing the Star Spangled Banner by uh, Madison Rising. So if you would, render respect to the national anthem. Thank you.
The Star Spangled Banner. Behind me, I have fellow Patriots, friends of mine, who have come from far away, as far as Arizona, California, Georgia. We all know what's going on in our country today. I tell you, this is still the best country in the world, the greatest nation on earth. It is. How many of you love America? Yeah. Woo! Woo! We all do. How many of us revere the Constitution of the United States that guarantees us our rights and freedoms? Don't we cherish that First Amendment right? It's a beautiful day in America. When I'm standing here in front of the White House, a great place to visit, I always told people that coming here to Washington, D.C. is sort of like a pilgrimage for Americans and for people around the world. This is a great nation, and we come here to somewhat pay homage to what America stands for, the seat of our government. You know, we all have, thank you, we all have freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. That's what we are practicing here today. We also have freedom of the press, freedom of petition, and freedom to worship whatever God we choose to, or we choose not to worship. Folks, we are angry. We are here. I'm glad that we have a country where we can voice the dissent of the people in front of the city government. Why are we here? I'll tell you why. First off, I want to introduce myself. My name is Manny Vega. I am a Marine. I served my country for eight years. I served in Iraq. I believe, no, I know I have every right to be here. This past week, the President of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama, he violated the Constitution. Perhaps some of you are just going to walk on by and ignore, but I'm just here to inform you folks what is going on in our country. Perhaps you have disagreements with it, and that is totally okay, that is perfectly fine, but if you can pay us respect by listening, I will be utmost grateful to you. Barack Obama swore an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. He did it twice at Capitol Hill when he was inaugurated. He swore to faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And I wish that he was, but he isn't doing so. That is my opinion, that is my friend's opinion, perhaps some of you had that same opinion. Sam. I just want to say, we have three branches of government. Before us is the executive branch. Down the road, we have the legislative branch, Capitol Hill, Congress, two chambers, the House of Representatives, and the United States Senate. Behind Capitol Hill, we have the Supreme Court. We are here to declare that we, the people, the first three words in our Constitution, we are the masters of our government. We are the first branch of government. There are checks and balances that must be done in order to have a smooth government. And that is not going on. Barack Obama has sawed off the other two branches that keeps this nation together. And that is what makes myself and millions of other patriots across this country dissatisfied, disheartened, angry at what's going on. We are here to intervene. Intervene in those checks and balances since, frankly, Congress isn't doing much to hold this president, this executive, accountable. We the people are here to hold him accountable. He should have gone to Congress instead of passing executive order granting amnesty. I speak for myself, but if he had gone to Congress and the people that we elected did so, I would be better 
with that. I would fight it tooth and nail. I would be opposing it. And I'll give you all reasons why. However, Congress should have taken this into a bill and passed it himself, themselves. Not the President of the United States. Barack Obama is not the supreme law of the land. He's the President of the United States. He's not the supreme law of the land. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. And taking matters into his own hands is not the way. Our founding fathers established that Constitution for their posterity. Us. Over 230 years ago. And we are standing here thinking of our posterity, our children, our grandchildren. That is what holds us together. And if he can do this, if he can subvert the will of the American people, if he can usurp the Constitution of the United States, folks, we are doomed. I will tell you plain and clear, I do not care if the next president of the United States happens to be a Republican president. This is not a Republican thing. This is not a Democrat thing. We are Americans and we are pissed off and enough is enough. There needs to be debate in our country, ladies and gentlemen. I understand that's why we have a Congress. That's what it was meant for. Power changes. Democrats may be in charge. Republicans may be in charge. But the Constitution will be always revered. They all swore an oath. I swore an oath one. I'm here to uphold it. If you are ill-informed and this is the first time you've heard about it, go and look, research for yourself what is going on to our country. They're taking it inch by inch. And to quote Michael Savage, Dr. Michael Savage, a popular radio host, the book title was Trickle Down Tyranny. This is how it starts. Little by little they will take away. Barack Obama is acting like a quasi-tyrant. That is what he's doing. He's taken it upon himself to become king or emperor. And God bless you, sir, because you have a right to be a voice of dissent. I am here to protect you as well, sir. And God bless you. I dearly mean it. I do. This is what it's all about, peaceful assembly. We should have millions of Americans here, Republicans, Democrats, everybody that loves this country, that does not want this country to become a third world nation. We are the best country in the world. However, I want it to be the greatest country of the world. Don't we want that? Absolutely. Don't we want this country to be the greatest country in the world? Absolutely. I'm asking you folks, interact with me, please. Come ask us questions. This is the greatest country in the world. We should keep it like that. I'd be damned if I'm 30 years, my son is 30 years old one day, and he's cursing the same government that I'm cursing today. Folks, I love my country, but I'm ashamed of my government. Wake up, inform yourselves, talk to your neighbor, your brothers, your sisters. Enough is enough. Let us not continue what's going on. This is the United States of Americans, and we're acting like Americans. We're not consumers. We are Americans. I know we all have hectic lives in our society. We have to work. We have to maintain a family. But we are standing up, and I will be here until change, not Barack Obama's change. I have hope that we can change. We can affect policy in our nation. And I know some of you might just scoff at it and laugh about it, but since Barack Obama has violated the Constitution, the supreme law of the land, we are here since Congress is not going to hold this president accountable by impeaching the President of the United States. Because laughably dismissed is the thought of impeachment because it's become a political game. It's a party thing. The Republicans don't want to lose in 2016, therefore they will not hold their oath uphold their oath by impeaching the president. Well, that is not the right way to go about it. Since they won't do it, we the people can't impeach the president. We ask for the president to resign. And we ask for the vice president of the United States to resign as well. And just go. And have a new election. Let's have a new government, a new form of government for the people, by the people, and of the people. We love America. 
We are proud Americans and we are here to keep it as our founders intended it to be when they established it. That is our message. We don't want division. We're tired of division. We're tired of the partisan politics. We're Americans and we should unite. I'm tired of it. Let's just review the Constitution and let's hold these people accountable. That's what this country needs. Thank you for listening and God bless America. Wake up, America. Wake up. This is your country. This is my country. My country is a big, sweet land of liberty, of the I see. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims' cried from every mountain side. Let freedom reign. I'll tell you something right now, ladies and gentlemen. Those words mean something to me, and I take those words, those lyrics to heart. I want freedom to reign for each and every one of you. But it is the Constitution that guarantees us those rights, and there are men in our U.S. Armed Forces, the Army, the Marine Corps, the Navy, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, and these agencies the Secret Service, the FBI, the CIA, all right? There are people out there who are sacrificing for you while you sleep at night because they want to ensure that freedom reigns. Do you not care? It's time for you to wake up as an American, not as a Democrat, not as a Republican, but as an American. This country should be free ground all the way from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. Listen up. I warned you. We warned you. Get yourself informed. Get yourself informed, people. You know, I had a young lady come up to me and she wanted to ask me a question or rather express her gratitude for us being out here. She looks just like you. I don't want no gratitude. I just want you to hear us and to follow through by getting yourself informed. Apathy will be our demise, ladies and gentlemen. Apathy. You do not want that to be our demise. Let's stand up and let our voices be heard. What I'm doing right now in front of the White House is not a ballsy move, ladies and gentlemen. I am not afraid. I'm not afraid to be here. Why? Because I have the guaranteed right to be here speaking loudly on this bullhorn for in assembly. You can also do this yourself. Speak out. Do not be scared. You're an American. You have these freedoms. You have every right to be here. Like this gentleman next to me has a right to call a prayer. He is a Muslim. I am a Christian. I see Buddhists out here. I may see atheists, agnostics, Jews. We are here to preserve our freedom. That are slipping away if we do not act. We do not do anything. You may think that nothing's happening. That we're okay. We live comfortable lives. Let me tell you how Rome fell. Bread and circuses. You can go anywhere you want in this country and get what you want. You want a 50 inch flat screen television? Fine. Go to Walmart and get it. You want milk? You don't have to work hard for it. You don't need a cow. Go to your lo local supermarket, your local grocery store. Get some eggs, ham, kosher, or halal. You know, folks, they are, they are giving us everything. They're putting it in our hands, and we're not working hard enough for ourselves. Our circuses, we go home from work, we take a shower, 
We eat because it is provided. You do not starve in this country like other countries. And we entertain ourselves by hopping up on Facebook and Twitter and cable television, the satellite. We are in our cars listening to XM radio. This is the bread and circuses, the modern bread and circuses. Rome gave its people free bread and it gave them the circuses, the gladiators, to keep the populace quiet, entertained, down. I'm an American, proud American, but I'm not a happy American. I am saddened by the state of our nation, domestically and internationally. I know you hear me, and some of you may be nodding your, your heads in agreement with me. You can speak out yourself. I dare anybody to pick this bullhorn and speak or come up to us and ask us questions. We need to hold this government accountable. We are the people, the first branch of government. We are the ones that elect them. In part, those are, that's where we come in in the checks and balances process. However, our legislature is not going through with what is mandated in the Constitution, impeaching the president for violating the supreme law of the land. A constitution he swore an oath to uphold, preserve, protect, and defend. And he swore to God. What he's doing is wrong, and we are here to hold him accountable. Listen up. Get informed. Get informed. I am proud of this man right here. I'm proud of this gentleman right here. Salam alaikum, sir. He called me a friend in Arabic, Habibi. I don't agree with him much, but I will fight and defend his right to stand here peacefully for us. I will. I am not a hypocrite. I may be speaking to, for myself right now. I will defend him. If somebody tries to remove him from here, I will stand up for him. I will stand up for this gentleman right here, calling Israel our nation's ally in the Middle East a terrorist. No, we will not allow them to be removed from here. Like, I will not allow myself to be removed from here. Because I am guaranteed in my constitution to stand up and speak my voice to dissent loudly for however long I want. These congressmen and senators don't want to have a filibuster. I'll show the American people what a filibuster is. And I'll stand here without water and speak all day if I have to. Are you listening? Who here in the crowd is an American citizen? Yeah. Do you love America? Yes! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, do you love America? Yes! Yeah. I love America. I want to hear from you. Do you love America? Yes, I do. We love America! I am here for you. Come to us. Talk to us. Be informed. Not enough to go to war for it? Say it louder! I said I loved it enough to go to war Come stand for with us! Hey, sir. Come on! Thank you for your service. I thank served you. my country. Come here, sir. In the Marine Corps as well. And I thank you. Semper Fi, brother. Out of Quantico? Camp Lejeune. Camp Actually, it's Lejeune. Not Lejeune. I know, you know. Hey, I worked at the National Museum of the Marine Corps for two years. All right, so I have people that educated me that it's Lejeune, it's a Cajun name. And it's not, it's not pronunciated Lejeune, Lejeune, it's Lejeune. Yeah, they had to correct all you guys. But I love my country, I'm standing out here trying to tell the people, inform the people what's really going on in our country. That we are constitutionalists, that we revere that constitution. I swore an oath to uphold it and I'm keeping that oath to the day I die. And I will quit after I die. Who here is a tourist? Who here is a tourist? Raise your hand if you're a tourist visiting our White House. Nobody's a tourist, that's fine. I don't live here. I'm a tourist. In front of the White House, I make this pilgrimage 
try to inform people to love this country. Let them know that this is the greatest country on earth. And we must keep it. We must keep this country, ours, for us, by the people, of the people. Go home and inform yourselves. Remember us. Remember us.